Fox News is covering the economy for you now. Getting Rhode Islanders back to work today, the Eyewitness News Job Fair brought together nearly 100 companies and thousands of potential employees. Problem solver Susan Hogan was there as the doors opened and she joins us now with the details. Well, close to 3,000 people attended the job fair. It was a great event for those looking for work or just simply looking to network. <laughs> Team McCracken, husband Sean and wife Lisa set out with a plan. You have to really make yourself stand out from the crowd. Both are unemployed and with three children, life isn't easy, but they get by one day at a time. We save on daycare because I'm home. With positive outlooks, both set out, weaving their way through the crowd of more than 2,000 at the Eyewitness News job fair. Lisa looking for clerical work. Sean looking for work other than sales. Yeah, there's really nothing out there. But with the crowd this big, if you don't have your game face on, Lisa says you'll get swallowed up. The competition out there is relentless. One of the things I hear over and over is how overwhelming it is when you come to a job fair. There's so many people. It's kind of like the job market out there. It's so competitive. So how can you stand out in the crowd? What are employers looking for? To be energetic, to be professionally dressed, to, cut, to have that really I'm here to sell your to sell yourself to your to your company for his prospective employer and that's really the best advice you can give somebody. For Lisa that means pulling out all the stops and not giving up. I am trying to use my people skills and show that I'm extra friendly. <laughs> Now the job fair, as I said, brought out close to 3,000 people in 96 companies spanning all sorts of industries. Now the good news, of course, all 96 companies have job openings. And for many job seekers there today was their lucky day. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.